Good morning, good morning, good morning. What another blessed day we have to come and to serve the Lord. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we're grateful and we're thankful for this day. We're thankful, God, that you've blessed us in so many ways. We come now, God, trusting in your holy word. We come now dependent on your word to get us through every situation that may come up in our lives. God, we come now that as you're healing our bodies, we spill the change that's happening, that people will know and that all of those around us would know that we are truly children of the most high God of faith. So, God, I ask you to bless now, again, every listener this morning. I ask you to give them the strength that they need in order to be what you would have them to be. God, we love you now. We magnify you and we glorify you. And we do lift you up. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This morning we want to look at uh, or think about a thought uh, or reflect on something that really, uh, as believers, we don't realize the creative power we have in what we say. So the thought for today is be careful what you say. Be very careful of the words that you use in order to express what you are trying to say. Be very careful what comes from your tongue because we know that we need to guard our tongues. We need to watch our words because the words that we say, once they are out, they are out. And the words that we say, there are results that comes from those words. The Bible even reminds us in Proverbs 6 and 2, it says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth which is what it's saying to us this morning. We're trapped by what we say. We're trapped into agreements by the things that we say, not something that somebody else said for us, but what we say. I encourage you this morning, as we often say, think before you speak. Think before you speak. Think, think about how what you say can affect somebody else. I know we used to say a long time ago that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Words do hurt. Words have created power. The Bible even teaches us there's a spiritual law that we recognize that Jesus adhered to because it said Jesus spoke to the wind. He spoke to the seas. He spoke to demons. He even spoke to death. And with that, with faith, everything that he said, everything that he did came to pass. I want to encourage you this morning as we continue to understand God's word and we continue to reflect on his word, I was encouraged even when I heard people signing on this morning. They were saying good morning. They were excited about the words that they were saying. And because they were excited about the words that they were saying, there was something about the faith in those words. And as we as believers uh, continue to, to strive so that we have what we call faith-filled words, Faith-filled words allow us to be able to overcome negative situations. I want to encourage you once again to use positive affirmations or to use positive words. I can. I will. I know. I believe. And start speaking those words every day so that you will begin to see what it is that God has for you. The Bible reminds us even in Proverbs 18 and 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It didn't say they, that they, sh- they, they might eat the fruit thereof. It says that they shall. Well, what is it saying? As believers, we know that words are containers. Their words are seeds. And the words that we speak and the seeds that we plant, because many of you are aware of the fact of farmers, you plant a seed and you expect a harvest. And too often we're not careful with the words that we say that are seeds, that are negative words, that are words that used to, to separate instead of words that used to bring together. And these negative words that are sometimes used, we realize that we're so into the flesh. And as you say negative words and use negative seeds that sow to the flesh, the Bible reminds us that we will reap sorrow, that we will reap evil. And we wonder why sometimes we're not getting the harvest that we seek. Maybe, maybe you aren't speaking the words that you should speak in order to get the harvest that you seek. I encourage each of us this morning that as we plant seeds and as we think about seeds that that are pleasing to God, And we know that the Bible even says to us in the book of Galatians, Galatians 6 and 7, it says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. 
For for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. It didn't say he might. The Bible says he shall. That's why the words that you speak, that's why what comes from your mouth, that's why we must not be misled. We must be reminded that we cannot ignore that ignore God and think we can get away with certain things that we say. The Bible says you will always reap what you sow. I encourage each of you today, as you begin to speak words of encouragement to brothers and sisters in Christ, let them know that these words that you speak have creative power. Let them know that the words that you speak have that has the power to do awesome and miraculous things. The Bible even reminds us in Matthew 16 and 19, it lets us know that whatever we lock or loose on earth is loose in heaven. And whatever we bind on, in, on earth is bound in heaven. So what am I saying to us this morning? The words that we use to bind and to loose, the words that we use to, to speak healing even over our own bodies, the words that we use that will allow us to be able to have a joy that's unspeakable joy, you need to start speaking and saying what it is you want God to do. And when you start speaking about your healing, you start proclaiming your healing with the words. You start speaking what you want even before it has manifested it because you know that that is your faith. And when you start being joyful in your words, and when you start being happy with the words that you say, you will begin to see things start to come about in your life. You, you will begin to see a harvest that will come about. And that's what it's all about, brothers and sisters. It's all about seed time and it's a harvest time. It's all about saying what we believe and believing what we say and watching God do what he does. God is the God. He, he's the overseer of the seeds that we plant so that we can get that which we're seeking from God. I encourage you today that as you are speaking positive words and as you are standing on those positive words and as you are seeing things begin to happen, you can have joy that's unspeakable. Every word that comes out of your mouth, let it be a word that now that it, it encourages somebody. Let it be a word that lifts up somebody. Let it be a word that gives hope to somebody because we as believers know that we are in this together. And since we are in this together, we need to build up the body of Christ. We need to build each other up in everyday speaking, because, see, we never know when people are going through a trying and a difficult time. We never know that the word that we say can be the word that changes everything in their lives. And I want to ask a question to you this morning. What kind of seeds are you sowing in the lives of those who are around you? Are they positive seeds? Are, they, are there seeds that's going to give a, a positive harvest? Or are we speaking gossip? Or are we putting others down? Or are we bragging? Or are we lying? And all of this has a negative effect on those who are connected with us. So today, my question to you and my thought for you is to be careful, to be careful what you say. Because the words that you say are also the words that you use against yourself. The words that you say is, I'll never have. And because the Bible, we know the law, if you say you'll never have, and that's the word that you speak, then you won't have. If you, what, what you say is what you can have. So if you start changing what you say and start believing and expecting what you say to come from the words that you have said, you will start to see that a change is going to come. I want us to be positive today. I want us to speak those words today to everybody that we come in contact with. That will be a word that will, will, will put light, that will put joy, that will put happiness in their spirits. Because remember, we are our brother's keepers. And since we are our brother's keepers and we are here to help and to encourage one another, the words that you say, they do matter. And because words do matter and because words do allow the fruit thereof to come, that's why it's so important that we're careful. Be very careful today what comes out of your mouth. We said earlier, we're snared by the words that comes from us. We're trapped by the words that come from us. We're locked into agreements by the words that come from us. So today, as you continue to believe and as you continue to, to stand on the word of God, and, that, and that's the word that you get. Anytime you need a word, go to the word of God. And since you go to the word of God, Every time you need a word, know this, 
that God is always working something out for your good. The Bible tells us, even in Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That is a word, and that's what we will say. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you now that we can say the words that give positive and, and confident affirmation of what we say we can have. Thank you for every believer who's listening this morning, God, that they will speak healing to their own bodies right now. They will speak it even before it has been manifested because they know the power of words. Thank you now, God. We can start calling those things that be not as though they were. We, we can start today with a new uh, and a renewed desire to say everything and to say the words that pleases you. So bless us all now. Protect us all now. Guard us all now. And we are protected. That's a word. We are protected. That's a word of affirmation. We are on the Lord's side. Bless you all, and may God continue to do that. In the powerful, in the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.